2018, you went on this circuit. Tell us about uh, Salisbury Circuit. Twisty, a lot of turns in it. There's, um, there's at least two corners I can remember where you've actually got to use your brakes. Uh, which just, it makes it hard, you know, if you're on the brakes and you're accelerating, especially if you're further back than like fifth or sixth wheel. It was a tough, tough circuit in the wheels. I remember last year, it, it was a real, it was the last round, wasn't it? And there was a big duel between Canyon and Madison, funnily enough. Yeah. And, um, yeah, it was just like turf wars for the front for the first three or four laps. Harry Tanfield got on the front for the next three or four laps, and that was it. There was about a ten, ten man break or something. And we saw the peloton again with like two laps to go, but it was it was a hard race. It's just um, it's twisty. So it'll be one that everyone wants to be at the front, and then I think it'll be very much one line for most of it. It'll just it'll, it'll um, rise will go out the back, brakes will go off the front, and it'll just end up in like groups. I think. I noticed the barrier line quite narrow. Yeah. yeah. What difference does that make when you're in the, when you're in the race? Again, it just makes it harder. You know, the, the, the narrower the, the road is, I guess, in essence, it makes you, uh, the radius of the corner tighter, so you can't like have a big swoop into it and hit the apex and then have loads of runoff on the exit. Um, so I get it. It's just another thing that makes it harder. It makes it harder to move up. Does it make it more dangerous? A little bit, yeah. Speaking of dangerous, um, you felt good at. You felt I know good. where this is going. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you felt uh, you felt good at at Birkenhead. Yeah, no, I, I saw felt... you in the in the first half dozen a lot. Yeah, to be honest, I really struggled the first week of the tour series, and um, the, 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 I had a cold, and I was just fighting off the tail end of it last week. But on Birkenhead, I felt much more like myself. I was, um, yeah, I had good legs. So I was up the front, and it felt good to be in the race, and I was yeah. enjoying it. Yeah. Just give us an idea of what it was like then in the finish, because you were describing to me earlier how you'd go and then you'd have a rider beside you, stopping you from from moving because it was because there were people like with bodies all over the place. Yeah, I guess it was just an uh, un unfortunate situation where we caught a group um, that was still racing. Uh, you know, there's, there's, there's four counters. There's, there was a plenty of guys in that group that were still counters. So it's difficult. I'm not suggesting I know the answer. It's difficult. I mean. It's, um, there's guys at the front that are racing for every position. There's guys that are lapped down that are racing for position. If I were those guys getting lapped, I'd do exactly the same thing. You'd, uh, you know, you'd try and steal a bit of slipstream and sprint for the line. But yeah, it, it, was, it was. It did. It did disrupt your plans for that sprint. Uh, I think it disrupted. No, not just mine. There was a lot of people that got bollarded. Oh. I was riding next to a particularly happy rival rider when I crossed the line, <laughs> and uh, it, it, it's tough, isn't it? But I guess moving through lap riders is part and parcel of crit racing. And, oh. um, if, there were, if there were to be a solution, you know, if you get rid of lap riders um, before like, the head of the race came through, that'd be ideal. Yeah. But until then, I guess because riders have just got to deal with it. And, mm. yeah, unfortunately, nobody, nobody crashed and nobody's injured, so we'll carry on for another day. And, and final thing, with Madison and Canyon, they're the ones that tied on points and they're going for the team win and all that. Yeah. When you're actually in the race, is it them that's dominating it or are other teams um, controlling, not controlling the race, but making the race just as much? Yeah, to be fair, I think as, as a pack of riders, it is those two teams. Mm. I think um, like Steve Lampier is yeah. going well and he's strong and he's not just like... Um, doing the points competition he's making moves and making racing yeah. on his own but there's just one of them yeah. um, it felt like at the last round it, it did feel to me that Canyon were the stronger team yeah. they had all five guys in the action and there was at least like four of them yeah. I don't know in, in the top 10 top 15 at any point in time and they had a lot of strength and depth so yeah to be fair same with Madison um, they, were, they were the two teams that had all their riders competitive yeah, I felt like, you know, for myself, there was me and Freddie from Vetus. Um, yeah, there was Lampier. And there was the odd Welsh lads and the team York was up there. Yeah. Uh, but it was just drips and drabs, really. I feel like, yeah, the, the two big teams dominate. Oh, yeah.